Hi everybody. As you know, right now we would have been at Adepticon playing games and running demos. As it is, we're not able to do that because of the crazy things going on in the world. So we thought, let's bring you an update of a game set in the apocalypse while we're experiencing the apocalypse. So watch on to find out everything about the Walking Dead miniatures game. First up, we've got a um, wonderful set of new releases, literally up for pre-order right now. Mantic, The Walking Dead blog week was last week. Uh, everybody from the uh, Hilltop and Alexandria is there. You've got Jesus, you've got Heath, you've got Maggie as the Hilltop leader. Um, fully tooled up, coming with the cards for both All Out War and Call to Arms. Each of them now have their made in resin figures. There's a couple of figures in each pack, but cards for both systems. So whichever you play, or if like most of us, you play both, you've got the cards, character cards and equipment cards for each. Ezekiel is this year's Walking Dead show special. And uh, Ezekiel is up on the website as we speak. It'll be up for the weekend while Adepticon's on. So if you are collecting the range, jump on board, go and collect Ezekiel add him to your collection he's this year so special when shows start we'll ha have him on the stand if they don't start then keep chucking in on the website salute will be the obvious next date and uh, the mantic open day which was going to be able for but we've now moved it to may the 9th and uh, if it doesn't happen face to face on may the 9th he'll be up again then so watch out however as we said you know playing play the apocalypse while the apocalypse is on is a spit in the eye of this virus and one of the things we love about The Walking Dead is everybody knows who Michonne is, who Rick is. We all watch the TV show, we all read the comics. This is one of our most accessible and easy to get into games. The minis are super easy to assemble, but they're absolutely gorgeous to paint. I'm sure you've seen some of the wonderful paint jobs. So if you're thinking of starting a game, this is a very good one to do. It's accessible to partners, to, to other members in your club and getting them in. And so to encourage that, all three entry points into the Walking Dead range. That's All Out War, which is Rick, Carl, um, um, battling for supplies in the apocalypse, which opens up the narrative and PvP play and the core rule set. And great value at normally 50 bucks and 20 quid, 40 quid. Or here's Negan, if you like playing a board game and setting it up. Here you are with Negan and his crowd taking over the sanctuary. Or if you're used to hardcore beat em up player versus player war gamer, they like tooling up their units, call to arms, all three of those are half price uh, over the next over the next week or so. So if you want to get started Walking Dead, it also applies to the digital versions, so you can jump on there and get going. And to encourage you to add out your collections or add the last bundle, three and four of the retail ex bundles that you didn't get, there's 25% off all other items in the range. So if you want to get started, there's no better time than jumping into the Walking Dead. Give yourself something amusing to do. The community is still going strong. There's plenty of tournaments going on. Um, Paul Walsh has some great tournaments and I think we've got his latest um, tournament pack and that should be free to download. If it's not, it will be soon. If we've not spoken to you, Paul, we need you to send that in so we can get it downloaded. So there's new scenarios and, and exciting things going there. And if you are trying to get into the game uh, or you're playing but you want to bring your game on, T&G has been posting some fantastic battle reports. They've also been helping us uh, talk about all the Wave uh, 6 releases that have just came out and are up for pre-order now. So lots going on, great fun to paint, beautiful minis, some of the best scenery I've seen in terms of the gaming tables coming around. It's a very vibrant community. And finally to close off, what's coming? Well, Wave 7. I can't obviously tell you what it is, but perhaps the way I'm talking might give you a clue. Um, So, more minis coming in resin, looking absolutely fantastic. And, of course, we've got the Omnibus coming. Now, all of the Wave 6 releases, Maggie and uh, all of those guys and girls, came with the cards for both All Out War and Call to Arms. So, whichever way you want to play, they're all in there. You'll need to make one purchase and you're up and running to cover both systems. And the Omnibus is going further and better on that. It's going to bring up all of the keywords from the this All Out War and all the expansions. It's going to pull all the rules and the FAQ and Arch into one place. Uh, it's going to have new scenarios of some of the stories from uh, Wave 6 and Wave 7. So there's going to be 
predominantly a big filling out of the all-out war range. There's a lot of people playing that. A lot of people want to get everything all in one place. That's going to be done. But there's also going to be some new battle scenarios for the Call to Arms. So I think there's is there 10 in this book. There's an awful lot. Scenario 7, 8. Okay, more of those. So that's going to take you up to a few new scenarios you can play PvP in a different way. And I think Rick and the team clearing out the prison so that you can take your... Here's Negan game, use the tiles, use the rules and all the canters, but play the prison game with Rick and uh, Tyrese and, and, and all those guys and girls. So the Omnibus book is coming over the summer alongside the Whispers. And three things happening. So keep watching, keep playing, stay safe, look after yourself. Thanks everyone.